Hey guys, welcome back to Uncharted Destiny. I just wanted to do a video to kind of update you guys on where I am so far as some of the supplies that I'm getting as well as some of the modifications that I'm making to my truck and the repairs that I'm doing. So uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing today because I got an Amazon order in and I feel like they know exactly where I live and my first name at this point because I've been ordering so much stuff. But um, let me walk you through some of the stuff that I've been doing. So I basically have big lists like this that kind of go through all the stuff that I have to do. This isn't all fun and games. Um, some of the bigger projects that I'm going to do are fixing some um, cosmetic and paint issues on my truck where a little bit of corrosion is starting to develop. Um, I have to remodel the camper on the exterior and I also have to remodel the interior um, to, you know, what I want to do with it. Um, I also want to install solar eventually. That might have to wait a little bit just because it's going to be such an expensive project and I am on a pretty tight budget. But um, this is some of the stuff that I have to get supplies wise. So let's check out some of the stuff that came in today. First off, I'll go through the boring stuff, which is going to be the uh, video making stuff that I'm actually getting so that you guys don't have to watch me on my cell phone camera. But let's check that out. So today I got a called a vlogging case for my GoPro which is right here um, and that's gonna be allow me to attach a mic and um, a battery a adapter actually for the mic on my GoPro so that we can start using a real camera instead of this camera which isn't that great as you probably have noticed this is going to be the Rode Video Micro mic that I'm going to be using with my GoPro. Uh, that's what was recommended by a lot of people who make YouTube videos, so I figured I would give it a try. Um, and then we have the adapter for the GoPro that's going to hook up to the mic. So that's kind of the boring stuff um, that goes along with the video making. So this is my new blogging case and the dead cat. Pretty fancy. And we have some stuff for my truck repairs and stuff I'm going to be doing to the truck, um, which includes some windshield washer fluid hose, which unfortunately my lines are broken in the truck, so I have to fix those. Um, and then we have some of the stuff that I've already done to the truck. I have installed my front torque lift tie downs, um, which are the frame mounted tie downs. And I'll show you a little clip of that in a second. Um, but I've also installed my Airlifter 5000 airbags uh, suspension assist system on my truck, which basically is an air cushion system that goes between your axle and your frame to kind of make the ride more stable when you have a heavy weight in the bed of the truck. So it's definitely a lifesaver. I noticed an, an immediate difference so far as the truck's handling. I really like the way that it works. And um, I'll show you a little bit of a video of that too. The next thing that we have is the, this uh, air compressor, which I'm going to need for my airbags and also for my tires if I get a, um, a you know, hole in my tire, nail in my tire, anything like that. So let's open this bad boy up and take a look. I actually had one that I got from Home Depot and it wasn't that great because it didn't reach my airbags. So um, pro tip there, make sure that you have the proper distance of cord to reach whatever you're trying to get to with your compressor. This one comes with an air hose extension, so I shouldn't have that problem. But uh, also comes with a carry bag and the adapter to hook to my battery because it's a 12 volt and I definitely want to hook it to my battery instead of my cigarette uh, lighter outlet because that's going to be safer. And then, let's see if I can pull this out of here, we have the actual air compressor, which is a nice little compact thing. It's got a nice dial on there and it looks like it's got enough cord so we should be good there too perfect all right it's got dual compressor so that should work pretty quickly and supposedly this one's quiet not that that matters too much but it's an added little bonus let's see what else i got um 
Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. My vehicle backup camera system. Um, this is gonna be such a lifesaver because I can hardly see out the back of my camper and I, uh, I really think that this is gonna make it a lot safer. So let's take a look in here. Nothing too exciting so far. And the great thing about this one is I actually got two cameras. One that's going to affix to the license plate of my truck so that I can back into my camper more easily. That's this little guy right here. And then another camera that's going to affix to, or another camera rather, that's going to affix to the camper itself so that I can see what's going on around me when I'm on the road. And the way that these work is you can usually hook them up to a um, power source for a backup light or a brake light or a running light or something like that. Most people hook them up to a backup light because they want it to come on when they're backing up. Um, but I'm going to hook it up to a power source that's constant so that I can use it all the time just so I can kind of monitor the area around myself and the camper constantly because like I said, visibility is really terrible and on the highway, you know, even, you know, moving lane to lane is a little bit more dangerous when you don't have a lot of visibility. So I'm going to use this guy and the great thing about these is that they're wireless, which means that I don't have to run a wire all the way through the truck to a power source. I just have to run it um, to that brake light or that backup light or whatever. And then they wirelessly connect to this screen, which is going to have a split screen so I can see both the truck camera as well as the uh, camper camera. So that's going to be a great system. Um, the next, the next kind of category of stuff that I've been getting is survival gear. And um, I'm going to be doing a lot of boondocking which is kind of living off the grid, not in campsites, living like in the woods, that kind of thing. Um, so I figured it was a good idea to brush up on my survival skills. I've always been interested in it, so I kind of already had a, you know, ground, ground floor knowledge, but, um, and I also have some training from my career, but um, it's always good to keep learning. You can never, you know, you should never stop learning because there's always something new that you're going to find out. So let's see what I got from that category. First off, this book that got recommended to me by a very close friend. It's the SAS Survival Handbook, and it kind of teaches you how to survive anywhere. Uh, let's see some of the stuff that's in here. Let's see. Looks like we have a chapter on edible plants. Always helpful. Chapter on making traps. Again, good for feeding yourself. Probably won't be using that too much because I do plan on... Um, bringing enough food and uh, doing that. Starting fires. Making knots. Identifying dangerous animals. So yeah, this book goes into depth on everything from first aid to identifying things in the wild that you should be aware of. It's definitely going to be a good read and I look forward to it. Uh, the next thing that I have is something called a survival shovel, and you're probably wondering what the heck that is, and that is this. I'm going to do a little bit of a time lapse, but I will show you how it is assembled. This thing includes all kinds of different attachments. Um, it has, it actually describes it on the back, but it has the shovel itself, which can be set in the three different positions, regular shovel, hoe, and um, like a grapple, like a hook. Um, it also has a knife and a saw and an axe built in. It has a screwdriver, bottle opener, a fire starter, like a magnesium stick. So much stuff that you could want while you're out in the wilderness. So let me do a little time lapse and I'll show you how we assemble this bad boy.
you guys enjoyed my update for some of the supplies that I'm getting. Um, I'm probably going to be getting more stuff in and I'll probably mix that into my next video. But um, stay tuned. The next episode is probably going to be about my trip to get my truck camper. So that should be a pretty exciting one. Thank you guys for joining me and please remember to hit the like and the subscribe button and I appreciate you coming to look. Thanks guys. Bye.